All right, guys, so we're out here at Harold's Saturday, Pennywise, no prep. Courtney's out here with his car as well, and it's currently not raceable at the moment. So he is under there. He went to go crank this thing up today, and she said, no bueno, if I said that right. How are you doing, sir? All right. Are man. you having fun yet? Oh, Lord's of fun. <laughs> Better when the car cranks. Yeah, that is, yeah. I heard somebody earlier say, ain't you supposed to be working on it at the house? That is not the way this rolls. So we work on them wherever we need to work on them. Sometimes it's at the track. So they got out there this morning and you said you tried to fire it over and it didn't do nothing. Uh, it, the solenoid hits, but it just, the starter does not turn. It is not spinning. Uh, they just cranked it up last night. So I'm taking an educated guess, a very time consuming educated guess that it's a starter. So one of the problems with having a, a, a blower motor is that coyote motor ties up all the space and i can see the starter from here but it is impossible to touch it from up here i'll take all that i'll be get to it gosh all right courtney's gonna be turbo soon no, I'm, not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying uh although honestly the way this thing is built is wide it's like a hemi down in this thing this thing is so wide that it just i mean you don't have any room well, it's already cut out pretty good. I don't know that you I don't know if you can get much more cut out, Courtney. No, I don't want to cut it out for room. I've already got the room. It's just the headers are in the way. Okay, no, it is, yeah, it is. Okay, well, it's not too bad. So, uh, you just still can't get to nothing. Five-piece headers. It's a good thing that he built them that way, isn't it? And that's the reason why I paid for O-rings, is so that I don't have to put uh, no more gasket uh, maker yeah, look it. at that. So, the headers, okay, yeah, you can kind of see the start with it. Uh, the headers on you can see everything but you can't get to anything with the headers on man wow 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 okay guys so courtney we didn't catch it a minute ago he started this thing up and uh the starter bendix is hitting the flex plate it sounded like the motor was blowed up but uh he was over there stressing i thought he was going i thought he was going to do some some bodily harm over there to himself but uh so they're shimming it out we do not have uh, like an official like starter shims that are one piece aluminum so he's got some regular shims and so he can he can change it later but uh basically we're just gonna move it out a little bit just to get it away uh, flex plate must be just barely bent uh you know it's probably what that is because it's only hitting in one spot but when it was spinning by and it would hit the the bendix it would go doo -doo -doo -doo. and you know motor spinning kind of fast so it sounded like a baron but uh it's not so he is he is very uh, happy so we'll see if we can crank it up here in a second he fought through his starter issue today so now he's fixing to roll up there how you feel nervous no you'll be fine if it feels like it does anything stupid just oh, yeah, yeah. just ease off so i think we're just going to aggressively drive it not race it like, right just, there you go we're just trying to get down the track he's not going to use the trans brake so he's just going to he's just going to make a pass you don't have a drag you do you yes i do you do have a drag Oh boy! Charged, but I wasn't even gonna turn it on for this one. I man. would just turn it on just so we got some data. Yep. Turn it on, hook to your phone, and uh, well, let's get go. Get out there, staging lanes, y'all. Just make sure all this stuff's on. Okay. I'm gonna be blacked out and forget. Here we go. It's gonna be fine. You're gonna do great. Yeah. yeah. I'm depending on y'all. Just have fun. You and Randy. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go.
about crabbed his pants. <laughs> <laughs> that that little thing, I'm telling y'all, that foot brake, it takes off hard, guys. I'm telling you. That that's a foot brake. All right, that that that's his first ever trying to do a burnout, trying to make a pass. Not bad. No, that is that's what it takes. So I'm, 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 How you like it? I'm second guessing what gear I'm in because it's not on the dash. Right. Never a race so I'm second guessing what gear I'm in, and then confused on you which way great, I'm supposed man. to go. You like, oh my god! No, oh, that's awesome. How's that acceleration feel when you no, swipe it? Lot, yeah, it's got a lot of power. It's like it's like yeah. it's like you're in a rocket it's ship. Instant, yeah. It's yep. instant. Man, I'm proud of him. This is five years in the making and a whole yeah. bunch of dollars down. Lots of dollars. Down. That's great. Should have started out small. Uh, well, I told you you're skipping here. a lot. I mean, you know, we all we all started. Well, Randy skipped a lot too, but uh, most of us we start at that ten O range, and then you go tens, and then nines, and then eights, and then sevens, and then sixes, and then fives, and that's a multi-year process. Yeah. So I mean, you know, you got to respect the car because the car makes power. Yeah. And uh, and you can feel the power when. That's it, the reason why, and like in my head too, I seen when we were in staging lanes, a dude on top of the car. It's right. Like, that's why I was like. I wanted to get back in it, but then I was just like, I got back in it after yeah. the first time. I was just like, oh, just ride down the track. Remember, and, and, John added a fear factor. Yeah. You did it at night, yeah. but he said you should yeah, do John it. Said it. <laughs> we just talked about it. Day, daytime is much easier. Yeah. You, can see the track. you can see, you can see in the car. You can see everything. We're, we're gonna need a private rental, so we can just, I can figure out what gear and get all comfortable like that. And just doing burnouts. I mean, yeah, you know, burnouts. Yeah, I you, got you gotta be. A, it's I easier learned, to do it in water. I learned more at home pretending <laughs> with the car off and your eyes closed <laughs> you know making it that's what i'm gonna have to work on is at the house just to remember what gear you're in but i still think that you're, you're comfortable at the house so it's just different than when you're on the line well let's uh pop the hood and cool it off and go do it again you want to yes one more one more little partial pass you need to stop the uh, randy said he's ready to go home and go to bed <laughs> it's up to y'all <laughs> I'm here till you leave, bro. <laughs> Whatever y'all want to do. So, uh, we decided we're not going to make another pass. We're going to uh, go ahead and wait till there's daylight. And no dew on the track. Yeah, there's a little dew coming. Um, but I think the daytime is definitely... Daytime is always easier. It's yeah. always easier when you got daylight. You can see more. And, and you can go. We just pulled the data log. Uh, he went about half throttle. For about three seconds, had a 176 60 foot. So, how did the 176 60 foot feel though? Like, legit, how did it feel like when you do you remember? Do you, yeah, I mean, I was blacked out. <laughs> I, I mean, it, it, a lot of people like on your channel and my channel have been racing for so long, they don't even remember, right? Like, you don't remember what it's like the first time that you well. And the problem with me also is I never made a pass on like a street car, right? So, so I just jumped straight to all of this power, right? And it's just it's it's emotional overwhelming because you got five years of it right and then you're into um an area that you've never done in your life and i mean 176 60 foot that pulls some g's i mean yeah. that you that, can feel it you can feel yes. it it was enough where i'm pretty i let out the throttle i think because my brain reacted whoa right that's right it's and a shock i didn't i didn't feel scared right it's just my my foot naturally was just I don't, I don't know why I let out the throttle. I really don't. I didn't really feel scared. It just was like, whoa. And then that's when I got back in it because I was like, hold on. We need to be in this. Because you've never felt it. Yeah. You, you've, ne you've never felt the acceleration of a drag car. Yeah. And that's what we were saying. I mean, you've skipped a lot of steps by going, you know, a car capable of going 550s right now. Yeah. And, you know, so you gotta you got to work up to it with your, with your foot. Yeah. And, you know, it just takes it as you build confidence and make passes, you'll feel the acceleration and then you'll get more comfortable with it. And that, that's what it takes. That's all it takes. I mean, because the car is, I mean, looks like the fuel pressure is good. Uh, I think it's going to be okay from what I can tell. Uh, but, I mean, it's one of those things, man. Awesome. Well, I greatly appreciate it. Yeah, five years, made your first maiden voyage. Uh, we're going to work on doing some street burnouts and donuts. Yeah. Everybody comments on my video, they're like, how are you not doing burnouts in the streets? And I was like, I don't know, I just don't want to. Because, and what I should do is I should be practicing burnouts in front of my shop. Because right. I have a shop in industrial park. There you go. I should be practicing water burnouts in my parking lot of my business. Yeah, just, yeah. you know, do it. You, I mean, you didn't even go over 50%. And I told you not to go strong throttle. Yeah. Because, I mean, clearly that Pro Charger will zing up in a flat second and you'll lose control of it. That's what I, I think that's actually a good idea yeah. is to do it at my business. Is Because you don't have to roll out far. It's just that's learning right. how to get the tire to come up 
and then, then your brain also is thinking, um, how do I keep this burnout under control? That's right. Where do I let out, yep. you know, versus just flooring it? You can't do that because it'll zing to the rev limiter. A normal car right. that you drive on the street, you can normally just hold it and do a burnout or whatever because right. it doesn't have that much power. And, and glue burnouts are more, are more tricky too, which that's what that one are was. Are they slipperier, you think, it, in the water? It, or? It, it's slippery, but then it grabs it all grabs. of a sudden. And that's what yours did, because you were probably 30%, 40% throttle, and then it just all of a sudden, it just started hooking, and you felt See, it hooking and yeah, going. I didn't know if I didn't have enough gas. In the moment, I was thinking right. about maybe I didn't push the pedal far enough. Right. But now, now it makes sense that the glue grabbed it. But you have to, yeah, as you get hot, the, the, the stuff, the carriers, acetones, or whatever it is, that stuff boils off and then you get rest left with the resin and so it starts trying to grab the tire so you have to give it more gas to get through that, that makes sense. but you i mean you just got to practice you know it just takes practice you know that's a good idea though take it out there sometime do some do some burnouts with it where you're not going to get in trouble it's uh a lot. you know just don't get you know you got to be able to keep the throttle in check all right guys well shout courtney special shout out Job for beyond, beyond <laughs> special shout out y'all i don't even know what i would have done without john because what ends up happening is people get friends that know everything everybody has people that they know everything and then that's how you get in trouble or stuff gets tore up but i've seen john and randy both actually prove that they do know what they're doing and so i really felt safer that john and randy was watching over me i guess and making sure that nothing bad happened so awesome it man. means a lot man well, I'm, I'm glad we could help and i mean randy's in there Rand, randy's being in your seat randy's so, more happier than me oh, right now. oh yeah that's <laughs> Randy, man, you get Randy, and Randy is a perfectionist, and so he, you know, he's watching over too. And Norman, all my buddies coming through, excited to see you make a pass, man. That's awesome. It, it won't do nothing but get better and more fun the more passes you make. Go check them out, the Paint and Paper Hustle. Later, guys. Appreciate it.